even though we don't want to admit it, life is full of things we wish we hadn't done. We all make decisions that we think are the best for us at the time, but in the long run, they turn out to be pretty bad. So what do you know? The same thing's done by athletes. Some players have thought they were right, but turned out to be very wrong. Whether it was taking a last shot, forcing a trade, or signing a big contract with a bad team. So who's most to blame for making such bad choices? I'll give you a few examples, but these athletes will never admit it. Starting us off, even though Kobe Bryant has had a great career with the Los Angeles Lakers, it's hard to argue that he hasn't hurt the team almost as much as he's helped it. Even though Kobe Bryant has five rings, he probably could have won a lot more. However, in 2004, because he and Shaquille O'Neal were fighting over power, Bryant made the team get rid of O'Neal. Even though Kobe got paid, became the man, and eventually won a couple of titles on his own, Bryant might regret his decision to fight with Shaq and kick him out of town at some point in the future. Over the years, there have been a number of professional athletes who made bad decisions in college by taking cash from a booster or getting something else that wasn't right. We know what it means as a team, but what about individually for you? Just got one more to Shaq. <laughs> So you can take that to the bank. Right. But I think that former USC Trojans running back Reggie Bush might have been the worst case. That's because Bush, who was one of the most exciting players on one of the best college football teams of the last 25 years, had almost all of his accomplishments erased after he was found guilty of taking money. Not only did his actions wipe out the Trojans' wins while he was playing, but he also had to give up his Heisman Trophy and leave the most prestigious group in sports. I wonder if, if he could change it, he would. Next up, even even though we'd all like to think that every pro athlete plays to win titles and get rich, former NBA star Latrell Sproul showed that this isn't always the case. Spree had a good NBA career and even went to the NBA Finals with the New York Knicks in 1999. However, he made one choice that he probably wishes he hadn't made now that he can look back on it. Sproul famously turned down an offer from the Minnesota Timberwolves for three years and $21 million because he said he had to feed his family. He never played in the league again, and he's had some money problems problems since then, which makes the decision even more important. Moving on, remember Aaron Rodgers' support of Ryan Braun? Even though I can't fault Aaron Rodgers for sticking up for a friend, he might want to rethink his choice of words and how bold he was next time. A few years ago, when Milwaukee Brewers outfielder Ryan Braun was being accused of using performance-enhancing drugs, Rodgers tweeted that he would bet his salary for 2012 on Braun's innocence. Well, that didn't work out too well, because the slugger was suspended for using steroids and a poly apologized for it. Don't worry though, Rodgers didn't actually give up his big money in 2012, though he probably learned a lesson about being so positive about something you're not 100% sure of yourself. Next, Luis Suarez is one of the most talented footballers in the entire world, but for most sports fans, we know how messed up he is in the head too. Even though the Uruguayan star is very skilled, what he says has gotten him into a bite of trouble. Suarez has actually bitten an opponent three times in his career. The most recent time was at the 2014 World Cup, where he was suspended for nine games and banned from all soccer-related activities for four months. I'm not sure if Suarez really regrets biting other players, since he's done it three times, but I hope he does. As you may have heard by now, Luis Suarez is out of the World Cup. Here's the official announcement from FIFA. Luis Suarez uh, is suspended for nine matches and banned for four months from any football-related activity. The player Luis Suarez is to be suspended for nine official matches. Another moment to forget was when Brett Favre retired the first time. Brett Favre was one of the best quarterbacks in NFL history. When he played for the Green Bay Packers in the small town of Green Bay, he had everything he could have ever wanted. He's won three league MVP awards and is known as one of the most loved athletes of all time. All that changed when he retired for the first time in 2008. He held a tearful press conference where he poured out his feelings like he did on the football field. Favre didn't stay retired though. Later that year, he played for the New York York Jets, and even more shockingly, he played for two seasons with the Minnesota Vikings, who were Green Bay's biggest rivals. The Packers had to put off retiring his number four jersey because they were afraid fans would boo him. I don't think Favre would have hoped or expected to be treated that way when he first left the team. Next, remember when Michael Jordan retired to try baseball? As someone who's followed Michael Jordan's career for as long as I have, I don't think he has many regrets in his life. However, I can't help but wonder if he ever wonders what would have happened if he hadn't quit basketball 
basketball in 1993. Jordan proved that he was the best player in the game and still in his prime when he won another NBA Finals MVP after his third straight title. After taking an 18-month break from basketball to play baseball, Jordan went on to win three more titles in the years that followed. Since he played for six full seasons and won six championships, I bet he wonders if his Chicago Bulls could have won eight in a row like the Boston Celtics did from 1959 to 1966. As a rival, it has to make him mad, right? I even talked to David uh, Stern as of yesterday and even today, and uh, I'm very solid with my decision of not to uh, play the, the game of basketball uh, in the NBA. Reasoning being, I've heard a lot of different speculations about my reasons for not playing, but I've always stressed to people that have known me and the media that has followed me that when I lose uh, the sense of motivation and the sense of to prove something as a basketball player. Another regretful decision was Kobe Bryant re-signing with the Los Angeles Lakers. Since the Los Angeles Lakers were 5-16 and 16 so far that season, do you think the team's star player Kobe Bryant wishes he'd tried to sign with another team? Kobe's one of the most stubborn and competitive athletes in sports history, which has hurt him in this case. He's tied the Lakers' hands by signing a two-year, $48.5 million deal before the last season, and he was now stuck on a team with no talent and no chance of winning an NBA title. So even though he got another big paycheck and got to stay in purple and gold, I'm sure he'd be a lot happier if he took a little less money and gave up some stats to play on a real contender. But Kobe Bryant is Kobe Bryant, so even if he does regret the decision, he'll keep arguing that it was the right one until the end. You think I was pissed when you got number five? Of course you were. Oh, no he doubt. Did. I told my house up. No doubt. I, I bet, bet you did. No, I went crazy. Because <laughs> when I got four and you got four, I was like, hey, I yeah. got four, he got four, that's straight. When you got that fifth one, and yeah. then hold on, you said, I just wanted to get one more. Absolutely. To <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> TV. Yeah. And I said, you know what? Yeah, ain't TV. nothing he can do about it either. <laughs> Lastly, Pete Rose betting on baseball. Even though he has more hits than anyone else in MLB history, Pete Rose has to admit that betting on baseball as a player and manager was one of the dumbest things he ever did. Rose hasn't made it into the Hall of Fame, which is where he belongs, because he was banned and blackballed by Major League Baseball because of that decision. He also keeps contradicting himself, which hurts his chances of ever getting into Cooperstown. Looking back, I bet that Charlie Hustle would have never gone into a sports book to bet on games. If he hadn't, his legacy would have been a lot different. These are just some few athletes who made rash decisions rashly, which in hindsight would have been better off well thought out before implementing. That's all for today. Till we meet again in the next video. But against the Bulls, he does. Here's Jordan. He blows by Pearson. Oh. Jammed it down. He blew Michael by Jordan. Pearson. Out front, pressured by Dennis Johnson. Michael on the drive, in for the right. Hesitation move. Through the hoop for the right. Scoop shot, good on the reverse. Michael!